when you are running virtual machines in azure data protection is crucial to ensure that you can restore your workloads in case of failure accidental deletion or disaster recovery scenarios azure provides several ways to back up your virtual machines but here we will walk you through a simple step by step process for backing up an individual virtual machine using azure's native backup solution hello everyone i hope you are all doing well i'm anhur and welcome back to msft webcast azure backup is a cloud based service that provides reliable scalable and secure backup solutions for azure resources it can back up virtual machines files folders and enter azure infrastructure using azure backup you can create recovery points for your vms which can then be restored to a specific point in time benefits of using azure backup for vms azure backups can restore virtual machines to a specific recovery point it allows us to manage backups for all our virtual machines from a single interface we can also set up automatic backup schedules to ensure our virtual machines are regularly protected our backup data is encrypted both in transit and at rest as our environment grows azure backup can scale to meet our needs before you backup a virtual machine ensure that you have an azure subscription a running virtual machine in azure and the azure backup agent installed on the vm first we need to log into the azure portal open your preferred web browser navigate to portal.azure.com and sign in with your azure account under azure services click on virtual machines for this demo we have created an azure virtual machine named fl-vm02 we will be taking an azure backup of this vm there are two methods available to backup your azure virtual machines in this video we will walk through the steps to backup an individual azure vm from the vm's settings to backup multiple azure vms create a recovery services vault set up a backup policy and configure the vms for backup i'll cover this method in the next video from the list of vms select the vm that you want to backup fl hyphen vm02 in my case you can see the details of your virtual machine like public ip address status computer name operating system size etc expand backup plus disaster recovery section and then click on backup if you already have a vault choose select existing and select a vault if you don't have a vault select create new specify a name for the vault the vault is created in the same region and resource group as the vm you can't modify these settings when you enable backup directly from the vm settings you can read about the difference between the enhanced and standard policy subtypes the standard policy backs up the vm once a day at the specified time and retains backup in the vault for 30 days the enhanced policy backs up the vm every 4 hours at the time specified and retains daily backup points for 30 days select policy subtype as enhanced or standard based on your requirement in this example we are going with enhanced policy type on the choose backup policy keep the default new policy selected if you want to change the policy select edit this policy specify the name of the backup policy you want to create in this example we will use the name test weekly policy now set up the backup schedule for backup frequency you can choose between hourly daily or weekly for this example select weekly from the drop down list choose the day of the week for the backup for this example set the day to sunday now specify the time to perform the backup for example set it to 8 pm next select the time zone based on your local region for this example it is utc plus 5:30 Now define how many days the instant recovery snapshot should be retained. You can also select the retention of monthly or yearly backup points if needed. After you have finished, go ahead and click okay. Scroll to the bottom of the page. Under disk selection, confirm that the OS disk is selected. 
After filling in all the above details, click the Enable Backup button. This action will associate the backup policy with the virtual machine. Wait for the confirmation notification to appear. The deployment process will take a few seconds. Please wait for the process to complete. You can track the configuration progress in the portal notifications. When the deployment is complete, select Go to Resource to proceed. Expand Protected Items, then click on Backup Items. Click on Azure Virtual Machine. You can see the Azure VM FL-VM02 listed on the Backup Items. To see the more details, click on View Details. Here we can see brief information about our backup. This page shows backup status for the VM and information about recovery points, jobs running and alerts issued. After backup is enabled, an initial backup runs. You can start the initial backup immediately or wait until it starts based on with the backup schedule. Until the initial backup completes, last backup status shows as warning, initial backup pending. You can run an on-demand backup of the Azure VM immediately by clicking Backup Now. On Backup Now, use the calendar control to select how long the recovery point is retained. After selecting the date, click OK. To see when the next scheduled backup is scheduled to run, select the backup policy name. To monitor backup progress, select View Jobs. We can see the workload name which is FL-VM02. Operation Configure Backup and Status is completed. That's how you configure Azure Backup for a single virtual machine in Azure. This completes the steps to configure Azure Backup for an individual virtual machine. I hope you found this video helpful and informative. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos on Microsoft Azure and other Microsoft related topics. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Have a great day.